Still got a long way to go in this book, for sure, probably like two more hours. I have like 70 more pages, so Whitfield. When they told me she was dying all that night, I wrestled with Satan and I emerged victorious. I woke to the enormity of my sin. I saw the true light at last and I fell on my knees and confessed to God and asked his guidance and received it. Rise, he said, repair to that home in which you have put a living lie among those people with whom you have outraged my word. Confess your sin aloud. It is for them, for that deceived husband to forgive you, not I. So I went. I heard that toll's bridge was gone. I said, thanks, O Lord, almighty ruler of all. For by those dangers and difficulties which I should have to surmount, I saw that he had not abandoned me, that my reception again into his holy peace and love would be the answer for it. Just let me not perish before I have begged the forgiveness of the man whom I betrayed. I prayed, let me not be too late. Let not the tale of mine and her transgression come from her lips instead of mine. She had sworn then that she would never tell it, but eternity is a fearsome thing to face. Have I not wrestled thigh to thigh, I would say to myself, let me not also the sin of, let me not have also the sin of her broken vow upon my soul. Let not the waters of thy mighty wrath encompass me until I have cleansed my soul in the presence of them whom I injured. It was his hand that bore me safely above the flood that fended, that fended, that fended from me the dangers of the waters. My horse was frightened and my own heart failed me as the logs and the uprooted trees bore down upon my littleness. But not my soul, time after time I saw them averted at destruction's final instant and I lifted my voice above the noise of the flood. Praise to thee, almighty Lord and King. By this token shall I cleanse my soul and gain again into the fold of thy undying love. I knew then that forgiveness was mine, the flood and the danger behind. And as I rode on the, um, and as I rode on across the firm earth again, and the scene of my Gethsemane drew closer and closer. I framed the words which I could use, which I should use. I would enter the house. I would stop her before she had spoken. I would say to her husband, Nancy, I have sinned. Do with me as you will. It was already as though it were done. My soul felt freer, quieter than it had in years. Already I seemed to dwell in abiding peace again as I rode on. To either side I saw his hand, God's hand. In my heart I could hear his voice. Courage, I am with thee. And I reached Toll's house. His youngest girl came out and called to me as I was passing. She told me that she was already dead. I have sinned, O Lord. Thou knowest the extent of my remorse and the will of my heart that Addie's dead. But he is merciful. He will accept the will for the for the deed. Who knew that when, who knew that when I framed the words in my confession, it was to Ansi I spoke them, even though he was not there. It was he in his infinite wisdom that restrained the tale from her dying lips as she lay surrounded by those who loved and trusted her. Mine, the travail by water, which I sustained by the strength of his hand. Praise to thee in thy bounteous and omnipotent love, O praise. I entered the house of bere I entered the house of bereavement, the lowly dwelling where another erring mortal lay while her soul faced the awful and irrevocable judgment. Peace to her ashes. God's grace upon this house, I said. That was Mr. Whitfield. What does he have to tell? Uh, Ansi, I don't know.